Hi, I would like to share with you the open playing the open chords of E and I want you to practice this if you have time 15 minutes a day in order for you to improve your um, your playing an acoustic guitar and so that we can you can play the bigger sound of your of your chords so let's play the family chord of E so the family chord of E is E F sharp G sharp F sharp minor, G sharp minor, A, B, C sharp minor, um, D sharp uh, minor flat five, and then E. But we're just using E, F sharp minor, G sharp minor, and A and B. So I want you to focus in these chords, and there's a lot of song that you can you can use these chords. So now let's uh, start from the E chord. So this is the normal E. I think you know already this chord. This is the E chord. So what you're gonna do is that you just add um, ninth or the second of your chord, if sharp. So this one, this, you will change this. You just add you just play the C sharp so this is the C sharp ah uh, no no F sharp okay so you're playing with F sharp so you will start playing starting from the six strings okay then that's the sound it's E major 9 adding 9 so that's it and then next chord is a sharp minor so inst um, instead of playing this chord I just make it sim make it simple so what we're gonna do is just we can play the, the root chord in F sharp this second fret so that's that's the original so you're just playing this and then you're just playing your seven your minor so second fret six strings second fret fourth string second fret third string normally it's just like a a9 it's just like this the a and then you remove this pinky finger and then you do it like this and then you just added this so actually the name of the chord is if sharp minor added fourth so because you're adding this sound B of your chord so just just practice this pattern and you start strumming from E string starting from the from the six strings okay so it's here so you can post your your video this and then your ring finger this okay that's it that's the F sharp minor 7 to added 9 added 4 okay and now next what's the trick is just instead of playing this G sharp minor so it's the same pattern you just move this to your fourth from starting uh, from your second fret just move to your fourth fret it's just the same this and then you just move into your fourth fourth okay so it sounds really big okay you get it and then what's the next chord 
after G sharp minor is A. So possibly this is the A. It's the 5 fret. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I don't want you to play this bar chord full. But you just remove this. Just open this chord. And then you your print finger just play the the fifth uh, fret sixth string. So instead of playing all the strings, you just play only from your point finger, just only play this one. So instead of playing this, you just play this. So you just leave it open and then play this one. Okay. Here added G B and E and it sounds really big, right? So it's still the sound you can still hear the sound of A A. Now you just leave it like that and what you're gonna do is just slide going to your seventh fret. It's just the same. It's B7, open chord B7. So from there, from from fifth fret, move to seven. Is that right? It's, it sounds very nice. So you only need to memorize only this pattern. It's just the same in this pattern. And that's all. E. So in your when you're playing your E, you just add this um, ninth. Of course, this is normal E and ninth. Okay, that's the that's it so now let's try to um, the pattern of your strumming um, I already um, show it to you in another video but yeah let's try to do it again down up down up down up down up down up down up down so down up 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 down and then you change the chords down up down up down down up down down up down up down up down okay more slowly down up 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 down out change down up down up down up down up down up down up down down up down up down down up down and then down up down up down up down up down down up down down up down up down up down up down down up down up down up down okay so let's try it into a normal a tempo down 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 up down down up down down up 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 down down up down down up 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 down down up down down up down down up down up down up down up down and then you just move to add for the next chords just Play in the F sharp. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, the G sharp minor, down, 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 up, 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 down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, again, F sharp, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down.
down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Down, down, up, down. Alright, so I hope you learned something today and if you already know the chords and the strumming so you can try practicing every day or if you have time maybe you can um, plan your time maybe in this day you can play another um, maybe another strumming and then this time you can play these chords and then yeah 10 to 15 minutes a day so it's not too much so just give time and then your ear and your strumming and it's gonna be so you can apply this to any songs as long as it fit to your song so this is really a nice one and there's a lot of song that you can hear this kind of chords so that they're, they're, they're playing okay so thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hope to see you soon for more videos. All right.